So I'll continue in that vein. I don't want to keep focusing on these um, poles here, but um, you know, it, it's funny when you're, they used to always say to me, oh, you're such a little girl. You're such a little girl. These men sat around all morning doing fucking nothing. They did hair. So they didn't go to work till like 12, one o'clock in the afternoon. So, you know, I'd go over there early, you know, you get up, you brush your teeth, you do, you know, comb your hair and out to play you go, you know, back then little kids were outside all day. You know, you didn't go back until dinner time. But um, these people were so big, you know, you'd look up and these men were huge. You know, they were, uh, they were giants to me. I was little. So he comes strolling, this Mr. Magna comes strolling out of Price Chopper. I haven't seen him since I was a little girl. Uh, and this went on throughout the years, uh, little parties that um, his two little sisters would have, Gina and Lisa. Um, I, I can't believe how short he is. You know, he's, he's just like very short man. I mean, I don't have anything against short people. But um, it's just the, the, the scumbag attitude that this continues in this community, that you can, you can set up somebody's marriage, you can traffic someone right out in the open, but we, we don't call it that, do we? We, 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 call, we? we have these creative sort of things that we're doing now to cover this all up. One of them was throwing me on the street and making me homeless. So once you make somebody homeless and you take away their car, you can allege that they're crazy. Why believe them? We have all these stereotypes for homeless people. We have stereotypes for welfare children. Um, I was just uh, updating myself with uh, the Naomi Judd uh, situation where um, um, Naomi Judd had uh, taken her life. Ashley has been speaking out for trafficking for a long time. Um, so, and who do they target? But welfare children. Welfare children are one of the uh, groups of children that are often targeted and vulnerable. Um, and, and this is what I grew up with. It was a constant, you're a welfare kid. You're nothing. You're garbage. You're not going to mount to anything. You're not going to read or write. You know, and this is the same family that's involved in this as I sit here this morning and I have to decide where to go to the bathroom or sneak around the back and try to go to the bathroom there without people voyeuring me 60 years old and this is what I have to deal with this in this community and they continue these people fucking continue